You don't need to pay Squarespace or Wix or Webflow or whatnot for hundreds of dollars a year just to get a website. Watch how I make this cute minimal company website in minutes with AI. We're going to tinker around with a few AI tools today to make this happen. Hey there, my name is Angel and in this channel, we talk about things like AI, tech, business, and personal growth. Nowadays, it's easier than ever to make software and apps even if you're not an engineer. I'm not an engineer, I don't know how to code, but I can still make software apps, websites, in minutes using these AI tools. Today's video is on one such tool called Windsurf AI. We're going to compare it with Bolt.new and Cursor, both of which are really popular tools. If you haven't watched my previous videos on those, be sure to do so. At the end of the video, I'll be sure to let you know which one is my go-to tool for building apps as a non-engineer. Before we get started though, 94.3% of you who are watching this are not subscribed. So would you please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button? It will help my channel out a lot and it's going to motivate me to make more videos in the future. Thanks so much and let's get started. To get started, you want to go and download Windserve by going to codium.com slash Windserve and you just have to download the Windserve editor. You can choose between which model of computer that you have and then just hit download. After you install it, go ahead and open it. You should see the screen get started. I'm not going to do install Windserve in path. I'm just going to start fresh, hit VS Code default and then I can select a theme. I'm going to go with Tokyo night next. Then you have to sign up after you signed up. It's going to direct you to open windsurf. You're going to see this Hi angel. Let's surf. And then you can choose between code with cascade or open command palette. I found that the best way to learn how to build is to work on a project. So today we're going to work on my company website called easyberry.io and I'm going to ask the AI to build me this website over here here is where you can chat with Cascade and you can ask any questions. You can use Claude, GBT, or Cascade Base. For now, let's use Claude, which is my favorite go-to model. You're just going to input the command here, a prompt over here, attach an image. I attached a wireframe of what the website should look like. And let's see what it comes up with. You can see here that Windsurf is doing its thing. It's helping us create a folder that we can then use. But because earlier I already created a website, so I'm going to say, hey, how about you just call the folder EasyBerry? Then I accept. Now we're going to initialize the Next.js project using Create Next app. Looking at this command, looks good. You can click on this button over here on the top to open up the terminal command. It looks like the terminal is not running for some reason. Right over here under explore, you can expand it, open the folder, select this folder and click open. Yes, I trust the authors. I'm just going to see what pages it created. Tell it to continue by inputting an image and a prompt. Can you continue making my one page responsive website? It looks like they missed a big part of this. I think this tool, you do need to know what you're doing first because right here, what it didn't tell me is to install Node.js. It's kind of buggy and kind of slow. Right now it's installing all these things. While we're waiting for this, we're going to check out Bolt.new. Over here, you can see how quickly Bolt.new is doing this. Windserve, it's just a lot slower. It's not browser based, so you have to work out your terminal stuff. You might not know that you needed to install Node and that's why it doesn't work. So I think bolt.new is more beginner friendly. Now I'm running into another problem with Windsurf where it says resource exhausted. If you're running into this problem, I looked into Reddit earlier and what you have to do is go over here and select the cascade base. Can you pick up where you left off? This reminds me of Claude Dev, except it's cheaper than Claude Dev. Claude Dev was another tool that you could use. I have another video about it. You could check it out. But this reminds me of that flow. Windsurf doesn't really know that it's getting an error to check the errors. That's kind of strange to me. I feel like even Claude Dev is better than Windsurf, at least the version that I'm using or what I'm seeing so far. Bolt.new knows that there's some errors. It tells you that, oh, you need to fix these errors. With AI, I don't think you can expect it to be perfect. No matter which tool you're using, there is a little bit of back and forth going on. But this is what it looks like right now. I would say it looks pretty good. I think I like it a little bit more than even the Bolt one. This one looks like this. It's cleaner, but it got some things wrong that is different than my mock-up. My super minimal wireframe looks like this. 
I have this top section that's supposed to look like this but right now neither of these are giving me this look I'm going to ask Windsurf to help me fix the layout to be exactly like the attached wireframe it says images are not supported in the base model so we have to use Claude but you might have to wait so I think Windsurf because a lot of people are using it recently. I keep getting the message that I'm hitting some resource limit. It's looking more like the bold site more than my own mockup. I would say I don't love it. Now let's bust out my trusted tool cursor and see what cursor comes out with for me. I'm going to open this same file and just make edits there. Paste in the command that I've been pasting in the other ones. With cursor, I'm writing a short command that says follow this image and this instruction and build this website, right? And then this is gonna make changes to all these files. I just think cursor is so much easier to use. Maybe I'm just used to it, but it's also more seamless and less buggy than Windsurf. I'm getting cursor to fix my UI so it looks more like the wireframe. And I think Cursor is doing a much better job than Windsurf is at the moment. It's looking way better and closer to my wireframe than before. Cursor gives me more control to get it to exactly what I want it to be like. I can easily just update these. When I click on it, it jumps to that section. With a little bit of tweaking and adding the images, this is what the company website is looking like. It's very close to my mock-up and I'm happy with it. I wanted something simple and minimal and this did it. After using Windsurf, I've been sticking with Cursor because I think Cursor is still superior to Windsurf and if I really wanted something that would quickly deploy for me, I would just use bolt.new because that's the easiest. While Windsurf is promising it's not quite there yet and it's very comparable to Claude Def so if you haven't check out that video because that flow really reminds me of using Claude Def but yeah that's it for today if you haven't already please subscribe thank you see you in the next video